right. So I got a nice long drive ahead of me, and and subjects keep getting brought up all over the internet. And today we're going to talk about mental fucking health because you motherfuckers want it brought up. So I'm going to bring that shit up, bitch. So mental health. Everybody has a different take on mental health. Everybody has a different take on what to do about mental health. And I'm going to tell you about my fucking uh, life dealing with mental health. Boy, oh fucking boy. So, growing up, I grew up in the day and age of experimental medications and pills and shit. You ever heard of Paxil? That fucking disaster? Yeah, when I was 11 years old, they experimented that shit on me. And people wonder why I don't want to take a COVID vaccine. Because Paxil fucked me up. Why would the vaccine pushed by a government I don't trust, yo, not fuck me up? Um, so the plain and simple of it, one thing I've noticed being on the, uh, the bad guy end of mental health is that most treatments, most people who try to get you fixed when you have a mental health concern, problem, or issue is that they don't really care as much about helping you live a better life so much as making sure that your symptoms while you live your life don't afflict them. They want to not be inconvenienced by your antisocial behavior. They want to not feel uncomfortable when you are something other than a smiling, happy little boy. Um, when you don't like the kids that hit you, throw shit at you, steal from you, and ridicule you, you are a bad person because you're not getting along with those people. That's what it sounds like on the bad guy end of the mental health problem. Because most of you only see people with slight mental health problems as being an inconvenience in your fucking life. And you should be ashamed of yourself for interjecting your fucking shit into the lives of people who don't need you to change their symptoms. They just need a pathway to either cope or to work on what's in them that's making them as miserable as they are. Now, for those of us who are on my end of the spectrum, one thing that people fail to realize, I may have said this before, but I'll say it again because this is a newer video, is that my mental health problems are a problem to me because I'm the one that wakes up angry because I'm awake. I'm the one that gets agitated when something isn't the way I've been programmed to believe that it should be. For example, I grew up being taught how to make proper lane changes in front of big ass trucks. You pull forward of that truck, put your turn signal on, and keep moving forward of that truck until you can see both headlights of that big motherfucker in your center rear view mirror and then you move over and then you keep driving. What a lot of people do nowadays is while they're close enough to your truck that you can't see their back license plate, they veer in front of you because they don't like that you're a tow truck that picks up cars because these uh, degenerate ad human fucks don't know the difference between a repo truck and a registered tow truck operator. I'm the guy that if I'm taking your truck against your will, it's because you either left it somewhere that it shouldn't have been left, or you're an alcoholic who got caught drinking and driving again, and the police have arrested you. And I get agitated when people drive unsafely because I grew up being taught how to drive safe. And everybody else around me is supposed to be so much smarter than me. 
so then why the fuck can't you drive? Things like that. My mental health problems do not bring me to the point of hurting you physically. Unless you're one of those very sad, sensitive motherfuckers that calling you a bitch will cause your heart to explode. And I, honest to fuck, there are like maybe 10 people or less on the entire spherical planet chunk of shit known as Earth that I want them to have their hearts burst in their chest when I call them names because you fucking deserve it. So if I call you a pedophile, you need to kill yourself if you are a pedophile. And if you're not a pedophile, then laugh at me for being wrong. 